Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day and a start to a wonderful weekday, too. And this is Release 90 Days to Embrace God's Plan for Your Life devotional by Bridget Reed. And we are on page 168. The Ultimate Builder. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. In those days when you pray, I will listen. If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. Jeremiah 29, 11 through 13. That is one of my favorite scriptures. During the building of our home, I saw the architectural plans maybe once or twice. Since I am not very analytical, I was okay with the plans as long as the house was safe. Through the many months that it took to build the house, I began to see the house take shape out of what was unfinished land. At first, there was just empty spaces where appliances would go, and slowly but surely, it developed into a house, the place we called home today. When I think about this in connection with our lives, I realize that we often see our lives as unfinished. We are always waiting to arrive, always striving for the housewarming party, always thinking life will be better once we get the refrigerator in place. But what we don't realize is that sometimes our lives don't look anything like what we prayed for. And things certainly don't happen at the speed we want them to happen. Yet God gives us reassurance that his plans are for good and not for disaster. In today's scripture, Jeremiah 29, 11, God was speaking to his people about what was to come as they were in exile. These words also are also a promise to us of how God works. He will never leave us in circumstances that are not for our good. When we put our faith and trust in him, we can be confident that this current situation doesn't compare to what he is building in our lives. We could allow the ultimate builder to take his plans with every detail set back and unknown circumstance to create a life that brings glory to his name. We'd see how his plans were good for us all along. It is easy to get tripped up in an unknown or unexpected things that happen. But God simply tells us to pray and he promises he will listen. I've learned that the unknown is an invitation to go deeper and learn more about him. What unknown do you have in your life right now? Can you see these situations as invitation to experience God in new ways? Prayers. Father, thank you for always having perfect plans. I place my hope in you and release my future into your care. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for listening to my devotional today. I appreciate you all so very much. Um, we or we've just we've had a, a lot of things happening um, all over the place here locally and nationally um, with the uh, attempted assassination of the uh, former president Donald Trump, and it is sad, regardless of what side of the political spectrum you're on, or even if you're not in on any side. This is really sad. It's sad any time somebody takes a gun and shoots innocent people, which they did shoot an innocent person and he died. Um, and two other people are in the hospital fighting for the lives that are also innocent in this particular situation. And so we need to remember that those people have children, they have wives, they have grandchildren, some of them, or aunts, uncles, moms, sisters, brothers, whatever. And um, keep them in our prayers. Keep the status of our nation in our prayers because it's very sad that this stuff like this happens. Um, and... Uh, I don't care if it was my side or your side or whose side it was. 
I just know that regardless, if someone had done the same thing to uh, another candidate, uh, it would be sad either way. It's ridiculously sad. Um, and so it is time for people to stop hating uh, people, especially people you don't even know. They haven't done anything to you. Um, no, none of these political people have done anything to me personally. Um, at all. So, um, I haven't done anything to me personally. <laughs> That's bad. Um, so, uh, it, it's time to stop hating because we don't agree with what people believe or what politics they have or whatever. It's time to stop. God is love. God promotes love. And I heard, you know, good things said. And I just want to continue to hear, you know, good things. And I know we can't control everything that happens in this world. And there's going to be people who do what they're going to do regardless. But we can make a change in our own lives to remember to love people despite the fact that they might not agree with us. Just because you don't agree with somebody doesn't mean you can't love them. It doesn't mean you can't be their friend. It doesn't mean that you can't uh, care about them or hope the best for them. So, um, I'm going to get off my soapbox, but I just want to say, everybody, please pray. Please pray about this situation in general with our country because we need prayer. Our, our country needs prayer. And um, please remember to pray for Issa and her family and uh, the other prayer requests that we have, uh, Miss Joanne's daughters and the other prayer requests that we've lifted up to you. So um, thank you so much for listening today. And I'll be back tomorrow with another devotional, another devotional, Anetta. And um, I have a song of the day in my description box. And you can email me any prayer requests or praise reports to platware at yahoo.com. And that will be in the description box as well. Thank you so much. God bless you. Remember that I love you and that God loves you too. Bye-bye.